Oh my God, I swear. You know what time it is? I cannot. I can't even get back to my darn list. Oh goodness, I can't even get to the hellos without some of this. Deep Muted Thoughts by Cooch. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I said hi to everybody, and I don't think I hit anybody twice. Actually, Vault, I think you might have gotten a double high, but otherwise, everybody else got like an individual high. And I also sympathized with uh, Bomb. Because I don't know how she says hi to everybody and never doubles and triples and quadruples things. Lord, and that was such a long list, too. <laughs> e 11, thank you. I had a great talk with myself. All of you are doing fabulous. Vault got extra love because Vault deserves it. Nobody else does. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So hi, everybody. <laughs> that was such a long list. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Um, you'll just have to trust that I didn't miss anybody and Vault got it twice. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Good to see you all. So I've got um, some interesting stuff to play today. Oh, yeah, you know, you know that all of his uh, mods that are all up invested in the YouTube stuff, they're all watching. So, so everybody say hi to the haters. Hi to the hater hags. Throw up your hag emojis if you got one. That's that one that looks kind of like mod 148, but it really just represents the, the every hag. <laughs> oh, Debbie, you know what, Debbie, you got, oh, the other Debbie with an I, with one B and an I. I'm sorry, Debbie, Debbie, extra love, extra love for all the Debbies, both of the Debbies, and any secret Debbies out there. <laughs> hey, health, wealth, and hope. Yes, please hit the thumbs up, or if you really hate me, just please hit that thumbs down. Come on, you can do it. Just hit it with your middle finger. Hit it hard with your middle finger, that thumbs down. <laughs> uh, so I got a few things to play today. Uh, uh, one thing is going to be very, very, very... <laughs> I'm going to save that one till the very end, uh, the the, uh, the exploding hag stuff. But I will let you guys know um, what I've got today is, real quick, a two and a half minute IG video that he did overnight last night. Um, I'm going to play it because you guys will want to see it. Once I play it, you'll know why you want to see it. Or why it's why I'm why I'm playing it, and then I am going to play a series of I think I have it split into like twelve or thirteen separate parts, but there's multiple calls in a couple of different parts. Um, so I have around fifteen. I have around 15 911 calls. All of every single 911 call, or I'm sorry, I shouldn't say 911. Every single call made to the police regarding John Yates for the past six months. Uh, they could not go before six months, and I will explain why. But let me really quickly play this um, IG video um, that John did overnight. And then I will show you uh, 
the proof I have that I can only get six months, that I was only given six months worth and why. Um, and, and so forth. So let's see, there we go. JY overnight. So look who came for a visit. John was very busy with women named Angela last night. So about 2 a.m., Angela showed up at his house, and this is the IG Live that they did. I'll have to uh, pause it a couple of times for fair use, but let's watch it. John, look. Look, Johnny. John, look up. It's the Gamma Reaper. <laughs> I love my little Angela. No one's joining. Tick, tick, tick. I love my little Angela. Tick, tick, tick. Yeah, we're on some kind of major shit called McDonald's. <laughs> Hi, guys. Can you come to my pizza? Angela house. Deem is in my house right now. Angela Deem, yeah, it's bitch. Get it right. <laughs> I told you I kept them. Oh I put them in the freezer. Angela Deem Yates. <laughs> yes, the uh, the Angela Deem from 90 Day Fiance. The other Angela. She just wanted his Harry Potter book. She came for the five grand. <laughs> I told you. I told you I kept them. <laughs> When you sent them to me, I'd like get the Wait, right. show them what I, I want. Bitch cost me three dollars in coins and busted. <laughs> Wait, let me show you. Wait. Wait. She said, bitch cost me three hundred dollars in coins. <laughs> I can't tell what that is in the freezer that he was holding up. I have no idea. Hey Kristoff. Look at this shit. Angela is in my house right now. I cannot believe it. Surprise, bitch. Look. Look yeah. what Johnny's got. She got it's me a big giant hair bear. Him and Cody can now snuggle when they're mad at each other and still be together. <laughs> oh, my God. She paid $300 for that care bear. And can I tell you guys, I did the thumbnail before I watched this video. I knew I was going to play the video. I knew Angela was in it, but I only watched like 10 seconds of it because I had shit to edit. I didn't have time to watch the video until I got my work done. <laughs> so I can't believe. And by the way, to the artist who made that Care Bear, it's brilliant. I still love it. And thank you for making that for the... Uh, the redditors and um yeah that's where i got it from but i do knew, know who who uh created that uh care bear and it's so freaking awesome so anyway angela spent three hundred dollars on this big ass human-sized care bear now do you guys all remember when when john cried that a five hundred dollar lego set was too big for his cottage he cried and yelled at a subscriber who bought him a $500 Lego set. It was like a collector's edition and shit. $500. And he screamed at that person and said, you know how tiny my apartment is? Why would you buy me this? And here he is taking a three. Yes, it's uh, just like 2 a.m. this morning. And he, she got him a $300 Care Bear that's practically life-size. Okay, let's continue. Look. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that adorable? She got me a big, giant Care Bear. Isn't that adorable? Isn't that adorable? Oh, I love it. I love it. When he was in the hospital before, <laughs> I bought him one not that big, but oh, one, like, that? half that size. Didn't you say I've never seen one that big, Cody? That's why I, I said. Got one, I got says, the pink one with. With the cheer bear. Look, Angela, Angela's in my house. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Y'all did with the kids, and they gave the same gift. So, damn, Lisa, you're pretty good. All those bags that you see in our bedroom, that's all with care bears in them. Oh, my God. Because Hi. I, 
Hi. Hi. Yeah. Hello. You see, you see the other ones. In By the, the way, when Johnny yeah. talks bad about me, he gives a shit. I never talk bad about you. Who cares? Because he doesn't mean it. I don't pay him no fucking attention. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Um, he has never, ever spoken bad about you, Angela, on, um, any kind of a, uh, IG or YouTube that I've ever caught, ever, never spoken bad about you. He would not, he is actually not that dumb. You might be the only one ever I can think of offhand that he's never even made like a shady, anything that he's ever, yeah, he's never even been shady. If he said anything he hasn't agreed with, he's like, he's like said it without shade or, yeah. Never has he ever. So you're weird. But you can tell they've been drinking. Okay, that's the last time I'll pause it. Fuck if he calls me this. As long as he opens that <laughs> mother freaking door when I knock at that bitch, we're okay. So when you think you, oh, Johnny talking about Angela. Who cares? I love him and Cody. I don't care what he says. I don't pay him no fucking attention. You're making me feel like I talk shit about you. I don't. <laughs> and. Oh, God. And. What the fuck is this? Oh, true life. Oh, I love that. Oh, well, let me hang this up. She is. But as you see, you don't. Ooh, I got all about shit about you. I don't. <laughs> you don't got all about shit about you. I don't. <laughs> Form your words. <laughs> you don't got all shit about you. I don't. You don't think I talk about all became one word. <laughs> one word, almost like breathing. You don't know how <laughs> you don't think I talk shit about you. You don't think I talk about shit about you. I don't. <laughs> you don't think I, you don't think I talk shit about you. I don't. <laughs> Slurring and lisping at the same time. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> So Patrick was so generously bought him this 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 Lego set, and like he like was so such a such a disgusting prick to a, a subscriber, but you know Angela Dean buys him a, a human sized Care Bear, and he cries. So. Um, and then really quickly, before I get into the, the 911 stuff, I want to show. I'm not playing the video, but Jay today, uh, when she sent that John lied, uh, John, as John does, lies all the time, says there was a postcard uh, sent by Jay today with a death threat, and it had human hair on it. Now, we all thought it was horse hair. Turns out it's actually uh, real cat hair. <coughs> Wait, maybe we did find that out. It is actual real cat hair. So it is pussy hair, uh, like she'd always said. And it says, happy eviction day. Lots of love, your bestest friend. Where in that is there a death threat? It does. Looks identical to a Merkin. So I just wanted to put that up really quick. Um, I'm going to find some other stuff, but I knew I, I knew exactly where this was. And I could clarify and contradict and give the truth on, on his, um, you know, nasty, over-exaggerated combining of stories and making shit up lies that he does. Um, and he said that Jay today has been giving him death threats. You know, you know those, those pesky Irish flags um, apparently equate to death threats to him. And a, note, and, and a postcard that says, Happy Eviction Day, Lots of Love, is also a, apparently his, uh, his um, death threat love language. <laughs> so... There you have it on, um, it was probably Skelly. <laughs> you know how she is with that anonymous stuff. 
So um, I just wanted to pull that up really quick as a reminder that there were no death threats placed on his car or sent on postcards from Ireland or with any Irish flags. Stop saying that Irish and Scottish flags are equal to death threats. It's offensive. All right, now on to the main event. Scientology, didn't she send uh, Mormons and Jehovah's and also uh, the the kits, the Narcan uh, kits and condoms? Yeah, he was again last night, and I mean, he's been, he said it twice this week. He can't stop fussing. She doesn't care. She has no, she just pours money at him. He makes fun of her. Neither one of them have any uh, humility or something. I don't know. No, she didn't send the white privilege book. Um, a subscriber, a YouTube subscriber named Realification sent the, uh, oh wait, sent that. Um, what was that book called that, Real, that Realification sent? Crap. It was about white privilege. Was it called white privilege? Fuck. Anyway. Uh, that was, that was actually, yeah, that was a different subscriber because he kept blaming Jolene for it. And I think he still blames Jolene for it. And Realification has said 2 billion, Realification has said 2 billion times that they're the one that sent it. R white fragility, that's it. Realification has said 2 million times that they sent it. Uh, John doesn't want to listen. Not unlike, you know, John wants to keep a story to fit his narrative, whether it's the truth or not. And he will change the person if, if he needs to change the narrative. <laughs> hey, Carrie. So, yeah, it was realification uh, that sent that. Not... Um, and, and is proud to take credit for that, which I would be too if I'd sent it. All right, so I'm going to start playing these. Oh, wait, first I'm going to pull up the, the letter I've got to show that uh, these were on the past six months. Where is it? I will read it to you guys. Uh, let me take down... I blocked the person out who requested the information. If they want to make themselves known, they can, but it is, um, no, no bother to me to, to take full responsibility, uh, for these. So, wait, I had it right. I need to get my tablet. So my eyes can read this letter to you guys. Here it is. Okay. So uh, this is from the Office of the Sheriff of Ocean County in New Jersey, where Seaside Heights is located. And the letter reads, um, and, re and responding to the person you made a request to get uh, every single video or every single 911 call, I mean, um, every call made, I keep saying 911, but I don't mean that. Um, every call um, made to that address, um, every complaint, any information they could um, from 2020, 2021, 2022, and so far this year in 2023. Hey, Kells. So uh, the sheriffs of Ocean County responded. Good day. The Ocean County Sheriff's Office received your Open Public Records Act, OPRA, the OPRA request on or about October 25th, 2023. The official records, Custodian Lieutenant Adrian Bullock received your OPRA 
request on October 25th, 2023. The following records were requested. All 911 audio and police calls from 203 DuPont Avenue, Seaside Heights from 2020 through 2023. The following is a line-by-line -line response to your requested forms. Uh, a, requested records. All 911 audio and police calls from 203 DuPont Ave, Seaside Heights, from 2020 to 2023. Calls can only go back as far as six months ago. So basically they're just saying it that um, where it says letter A and then number one, all 911 audio and police calls from 203 DuPont Seaside Heights from the dates of 20 to 2023 can only go back as far as six months ago. So what we are about to hear are all of these calls that went into the uh, Seaside Heights dispatch whether um they came through the 911 or it was just or like seaside heights was dialed directly i do believe no, i would bet almost all of these did not come through 911 they actually came through the direct phone number to the seaside heights pd i want to make that clear um, in fact, I know 100% that some of these did because you will hear some familiar voices of people that are in the chat, uh, people that are, um, you'll hear a very special one from, from a certain hag. Um, and that one I am going to save to last, like I said. And then um, you'll hear some from other people. Um, one person, I don't know who it is. Another person uh, is a subscriber um, and I took their name out of it completely because they are a subscriber. They're not a content creator. Um, and they gave enough identifying information that people would know what subscriber they are. Now, I think it was already put out there that they made the, that the call happened. In fact, I'm sure it was, but nonetheless, I took their name out. If they want to say it's them at any point, or if anybody recognizes it, then that's fine. Um, I'm going to stop a little bit in between these. I'm not, I'm going to try not to stop too much, um, because I want you guys to form your own opinions about these without me. Um, and because they are not under the same fair use terms as other things, I don't need to stop every 30 seconds. However, between some of the calls, I am going to stop. Um, I don't have the, I didn't put the dates with any of these, so I'm not sure which are the August calls even, but, um, I do still have them organized somewhat. So, um, when I get to call number eight, I'm going to stop, skip over number eight, because that's, that's the one. And I'm going to go straight to number nine. And then I will go back to number eight at the end. All right, I think I've said all I need to before we start these. If you guys would not mind, please, please hit the like button. Um, I would really appreciate it. Also, if you miss this video, I will be privating the video and let it letting it go through the monetization processes. I don't really see, hopefully this can get monetized because um, my channel is desperately hurting. I'm just going to be honest. The channel is desperately hurting since I lost my demonetization. I need, um, I need all the pennies I can get right now. So I didn't um, take out any words or anything. The only things I took out were names was one name and a couple and some phone numbers. But um, I am going to private this and let it go through its courses. And then I'll put it uh, back out to public after it's monetized. So just to uh, be completely transparent with you guys. And let's get this uh, started.
Oops, I'm trying to take that letter off. Let's see. Besides. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I just remember to do like a welfare check on someone. Okay, what's the address? Um, can this be anonymous because it's somebody online and I, I don't know the person. All right. So how do I do anything if you don't tell me uh, the address? Yeah, I've got the address. What's the address? Two o three Dupont. All right. Hold on the phone a minute. All right, what's the address? 203 DuPont? Yeah. And what's the problem? Um, there's a guy, John Yates. That's yeah, we know who he is. We know who he is. So why, what, why, why are we doing a welfare check? He's running through uh, a litany of his past suicide attempts. Okay. And I, I don't know if he's... I'm not sure if he's con considering another one or or what. It's just kind of crazy. And I okay, don't and you don't want to give me your name? No, I don't know him. He said I fully. Hello? He said I fully. Yes. Um, are you familiar with a John Yates? Yes, I am. Okay. My name's Paul Staley. I'm on a TV show, and this guy is posting all kinds of private information on me and my family, court information that are sealed, court records, threatening if I don't pay him money, he's going to continue to post stuff. That's, this stuff's sealed by the courts. And it's a violation of court orders for me and my family, and everybody else keeps posting this information. So is there any possibility someone could please go over there and do anything to get him to stop or just ask him to stop or anything? Yeah, he's on YouTube right now. Uh, YouTube and Instagram from what I'm being told. My fans have blown me up. They've blown my mom up. My mom's had a nervous breakdown because he's actually – my mom has some problems. Thank you so much, Jendi, and thank you so, so much, Savage. I think Kells did something, too. I'm trying to get my phone out to check, but I see a ton of people thanking her. So so thank you. It looks like uh, I bet you got some memberships. I'm going to check those. Uh, that's what I wondered. If you recognize that, thank you, LRM. If you recognize that voice, yep. For me and my family and everybody else keeps posting this information. So is there any possibility someone could please go over there and do anything to get him to stop or just ask him to stop or anything? Yeah, he's on YouTube right now. Uh, YouTube and Instagram from what I'm being told. My fans have blown me up. They've blown my mom up. My mom's had a nervous breakdown because he's, he's actually – my mom has some problems, and apparently he got hold of the court records, which are seals, which he shouldn't have got a hold of, and now he's posting all his information that should be posted. And what was your name you said? My name is Paul Staley. Spell your last name? S-T-A-E-H-L-E. And what's a good phone number for you? 502... Both are mobile numbers or one's a home number? Yeah, they're both mobile numbers. Okay. All right, I'll send someone over, okay? Thank you so much. I appreciate you. No problem. Bye-bye. Oh, Kirsten and Kels, thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. Tons of people got memberships. Thank you very, very much. Oh, you guys, thank you. And hello to everybody coming in. Yes, that was Paul Staley. Uh calling on John, and we remember back when that happened. He did do mom's, Paul's mom so bad. So now we are moving on to call number three.
Please go ahead, please. Hi, my name is Maria Vega. I'm being harassed by this man and from Seaside, John Yates. He's showing my phone number on a YouTube live now. What's his name? John Yates. By John Yates. Okay, and he's putting a YouTube video of you on Facebook. Uh, he's showing a YouTube he's, video of you? My, no, he's showing my phone number on a YouTube live. Oh, okay, on a YouTube live. Okay, where are you? I'm in Florida. Okay, so you're not even, is he in Seaside? He's on, he lives on 203 DuPont Avenue. I've had problems with this man every, every week, every single week. Okay, how does he even know your phone number? He, we used to be friends over a year ago. Over a year ago, but he has a bad drinking habit. He, he lied to a bunch of us and we stopped talking to him. So we've been harassed ever since, he, since we stopped talking to this man. Okay. And now I, I, I'm being told I'm alive and I go look. And he's showing his phone records on purpose with my phone number on it. All right, what's your phone number? Two, three, oh, yes. Okay, all right, we will notify an officer. Just keep your phone nearby in case they call you, okay? Thank you. You're very welcome. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay. Two sides, please. Hello? Hello, Seaside Police. Hi. Um, I actually have a question for you guys. Okay. Um, I've been um this. So now we've got Cody on the phone. This is two hundred three Dupont Avenue. Okay. You guys have been here plenty of times, obviously. Um, but I have a question. You um, is there anything that I can do about a woman? that has been harassing me, that is in, where is it done? Well, let me in just, okay, so yesterday we got a, um, a delivery on my car. This woman, and she lives in Scotland, so, like, whatever. I don't even know if there's anything you guys can do. But, so, we have video footage from my neighbor's house of her leaving flags on my car in a threatening way because, you know, she's from Ireland or whatever, and her Irish traveler is going to come get us. Okay. And she posted it on her page. She posted it on YouTube bragging about it. More to okay. come. I have a picture. I have voicemails from, I guess, her family saying they're going to come kill us. But, like, it, it, let, I'm just trying to be, like, realistic here. Okay. Um, because she's in Scotland or, like, I'm not sure if she's in Scotland or Ireland. But okay. is there anything at all anybody could do? Or, like, I don't want to waste anyone's time. Um, you know what I could I could send? You want me to send an officer out to Why are you saying that her family is going to come kill you? I know he keeps confusing Scotland and Ireland. <clears throat> so uh, just so anybody from Scotland or Ireland knows, our flags, uh, Scottish and Irish flags, are um, death threats to them. Absolutely. 100%. I will do that. Uh, uh, I will definitely uh, get you the link. Lack, thank you so much, right? Justice for the Irish. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Since when is a flag a death threat? <laughs> if that's not some hate speech. <laughs> to you, do you want to go to headquarters to report it? Um, yeah, I can just... If you, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you could have somebody stop by, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. you said it was 203 Dupont? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We just don't need the lights and everything. It's not an emergency, like, okay. whatever. Like, okay. You know, so, but, yeah, if somebody can come out here and just take a note of it, maybe they can help us, like, and, I don't know, direct us in the right way to do something. Yeah, I got you. What's your first name? John, John Yates. John, okay. All right, I'll, I'll send someone out to you, Okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Awesome. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. Seaside Heights, please. Uh, yes, um, I have somebody who's calling me here from Seaside. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. Okay. He's drunk on, on live, and he's, call, he's calling my home. I'm in Florida. Do you know who he is? Yes, it's John Yates. John Yates? 203 DuPont Avenue. He's literally calling and calling and calling. All right. Do you know which apartment he's in? He's in. It's a little house. It's like a little 
It's right. called, it says 203 DuPont Avenue. There's no units? It's just no, there's no units. And he just keeps calling you over and over again? Yeah, he's called me twice already, and he's doing it while he's live. And he and I have my ringer on off now. I have a daughter who just had a baby, and I can't keep the ringer on off. Um, we're sleeping, me and my husband, and he's on live drunk, and he's calling people up. He's on live on Instagram? Yeah, on YouTube. YouTube? So, yeah, saying horrible things. Where I sent it. Um, I sent Seaside overnight. I sent um, um, he's, where he said that um, he's to the point where he's going to knock on any of our doors and um, blast our heads off with a shotgun. And then, he, and then he'll say, because you bring me to this point, and then he says, but it, it could happen. I'm not saying it's going to happen. I swear he's losing, and he's right, so totally he's right, Is it directed at you, the threat? No, he's directing it at me and, and two other ladies. And, and does, he just, does he also live in yeah. Florida? No, one lives in Texas. Well, I live in Florida, and the other one, um, I'm not sure which state she lives in. But he, he does travel, and I don't understand why. Like, I tried to get a restraining order on him, and it's made him even worse. So he's, he has no, he doesn't care. It's like he can do anything he wants. He crank calls us all the time. I have the, I just have the missed calls from him now. All right, real quick, ma'am, can I just have your name, please? Maria Vega. Maria Vega, and your phone number? 305. Okay, I will let the officers know, all right? Please, thank you. No problem. Uh, what's going to happen from here is uh, part, uh, this fifth call is going to continue with a couple of more calls uh, that are part of it that all have to do with this one. So you'll see uh, five part two next. And I think part two consists of a few calls. And there might there's a part three on one of these. I can't remember which one. And I am so happy to play these. Hello? Hi, Maria. She said it's police. Me? Hi, I'm going to put you on the phone with my lieutenant. He's looking to speak with you, okay? Okay. Hang on for me. Hello. Hey, it's Jan. I have the caller for this. Sure. Her name's Maria. Okay. I have you conference in. He said I fully. John, if you just uh, pass me to a number. Yeah, what do you got? 305. Is that the Maria girl? Yeah. All right, hang on. Seaside Heights, please. Uh, yes, um, I have somebody who's calling me here from Seaside. It's three o'clock in the morning. Okay. He's drunk on on live, and he's call he's calling my home. I'm in Florida. Do you know who he is? Yes, it's John Yates. John Yates. Two hundred three Dupont Avenue. He's literally calling and calling and calling. All right. Do you know which apartment he's in? He's in. It's a little house. It's like a little. It's right. called, it says 203 DuPont Avenue. There's no units? It's just one. No, there's no units. And he just keeps calling you over and over again? Yeah, he's called me twice already, and he's doing it while he's live. And he and I have my ringer on off now. I have a daughter who just had a baby, and I can't keep the ringer on off. Um, we're sleeping, me and my husband, and he's on live drunk, and he's calling people up. He's on live on Instagram? Yeah, on YouTube. YouTube? Yeah, saying horrible things. Where, I sent you. 
um, I sent Seaside overnight. I sent a um, um, he's where he said that um, he's to the point where he's going to knock on any of our doors and um, blast our heads off with a shotgun. And then he and then he'll say because you bring me to this point, and then he says, but it it could happen. I'm not saying it's going to happen. I swear he's losing, and he's right, so totally he's drunk. Is it directed at you, the threat? No, he's directing it at me and, and two other ladies. And, and does, he just keeps, do they also live in yeah. Florida? No, one lives in Texas. Well, I live in Florida, and the other one, um, I'm not sure which state she lives in. But he, he does travel, and I don't understand why. Like, I tried to get a restraining order on him, and it's made him even worse. So he's... He has no, he doesn't care. It's like he can do anything he wants. He crank calls us all the time. I have the, I just have the missed calls from him now. All right, real quick, ma'am, can I just have your name, please? Maria Vega. Maria Vega, and your phone number? Three of... Okay, I will let the officers know, all right? Please, thank you. No problem. You have reached the Tom's of Police Department. Tom Trevor. Hey, c how are you? Good, how are you? Good. I have uh, my officers asking if you would know um, if you guys have any extra blood draw warrant kits that they could use or they could pick up. Uh, hold on one second. Okay. This is interesting. It's going to beep for a minute before they pick up. But isn't that interesting that they sent a, a blood kit? Somebody uh, drew blood, it sounds like, from John that night, possibly. They'll come back to confer confirm if they've got a blood draw kit soon. And then they don't ever say what happened, but... <laughs> I want to talk over it. It's going to be any second she'll talk again. Sam, you're crack elf. So these calls actually enable allowed the cops to do the right thing. And we just don't know about all the things that they're doing. Is what this shows me that Okay, you mean it at your headquarters? Well, one of the guys would be able to come get it. If, if well, no, it. I have a beach I have a beach car who's leaving headquarters to head back towards you guys that way okay. and they'll just drop it off to you. Okay, that'll work. All right, perfect. Thank you so much. We appreciate You're it. You're welcome. No problem. Bye. Bye. Bye, Miss. Please side. Hi, I'm so sorry. So sorry to have to bother you about John Yates again, but I'm a registered nurse from Texas, and this fool is going on threatening okay. my job on his live stream. Uh, what is your name, ma'am? 
Brooke Graham. I'm an RN, DSN. All right, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Brooke Graham? Yeah. Yes, G-R-A-H-M? G-R, G, Graham Cracker, you know, G-R-A-H-A-M. Okay. All right. And what is I, your phone number? I'm going to send somebody over as soon as I get off the phone with you. Okay. Okay. Right. So Bye. Bye. Please, please. Hey, I'm sorry. I was calling about John Yates. Have you got received calls about him? Uh, just one earlier. Okay. Well, he's like on a live with like cuts on his forehead, saying he's like broken fingers. I'm like, listen, I don't call for anything because I don't care about John Yates that much, but like. I'm just concerned. He's live right now. Him. Yeah, and I've never seen him like this. Honestly, like I'm a nurse, and like I feel like I'm, I'm a mandated reporter, so like I had to call, but like I don't call for this kind of stuff. But he has like literally a slash in between his eyes and his forehead, and he says he has like broken fingers, and he's on live right now, acting more crazy than I've ever seen. He's pretty crazy, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, what was your name? And your phone number? Okay. Uh, I'll interrupt you now. We were just out there earlier. And, and uh, I'm really sorry to bother you. I really am. I just, like, it doesn't look good. Do you know his address? I think it's on DuPont Circle, but I don't know the house number. Okay. No problem. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Bye. I'm bye. Hi. <clears throat> Sorry. My name is Brooke Graham. I'm calling from Lumberton, Texas. Um, John Yates is wielding a knife on his live streams and flashing it around. Yeah, we, we have like, we have officers out there. Uh, right now? Because yep. he, I'm like wielding they, they, knife right they now. They just got there. They just got there. Okay, great. Like he's like flashing knife. He needs to be taken in because um, uh, he's blaming all of us for his mental health and flashing knives on a live stream. Uh-uh. So this will all be recorded, by the way. So I just wanted to let you know, and thanks for taking my call. Not a problem. Bye-bye. All right. Good night. The East Side Ice Police Department. I'm sorry to bother. Can you ask him to watch the footage that he just was showing? They're there now, and they're letting him go again. And he was just showing knives on his live stream. Can you ask your officers to let, make him rewind his live stream? They, so they, the they're, 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 they're aware. Ma'am, they're aware of the. They all, ma'am, nice. ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. They're aware of the live stream. They are out there now. They're okay. talking to them. Well, yeah, well, they're about to leave again, at, and, and then he's going to go showing knives again, and he's going to kill himself. So I'm just letting you know. They're aware. They're aware of what happened on the live stream. All right. Thanks. All right. Okay, Not a thank problem. You. I'm sorry. Thank you. That's all okay. right. Bye. 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 please six seven one. Hi. Good morning. It's Beth from Test. How are you today? Okay. Good. I am parked outside of Seaside Heights Police Department. We had a call at 4 a.m. today from Seaside Police asking for a mobile today at 203 DuPont Ave for a John Yates. And I'm also wondering if we could find out, and I don't know if I could find out from you or if I need to find out from the officer. The officer stated that one of the callers told them that the patient made some type of suicidal statement, but the It sounds, I don't think the, I think the police, I have, I have opinions on that stuff, but I don't want to interrupt my opinions with the calls, but on the police being rude and also, or the dispatchers and also what somebody else said, um, cause I don't want to forget these. So just a sec, let me, um, start these before they get something just say and said. Okay, let's start this message. Oh, okay, it was right above it. All right, cool. The police had no evidence of this, so couldn't remove him from his home. Is there any way of finding out who that caller was so that we could clarify what that statement was? Um, 
Yeah, I'm going to leave that to the officer. I don't know what I'm allowed to say. So okay. Ask the uh, officer when that they get out there. Perfect. And then I can always look it up if they give me permission. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you. All right. Uh, you're outside uh, headquarters, you said, right? I am. Okay. Uh, in a vehicle. Light blue Subaru. Light blue Subaru. Okay. Uh -huh. We'll get them right over. Terrific. Thanks All so right. much. Bye. Okay. Bye. Peace out, it's police. Hey guys, um, I know that you guys were just here and like whatever for harassment for two or three DuPont. Okay. Um, we have actually one of the people on the phone right now that's calling us and harassing us on the phone right now and they want to stay on the phone until a police officer actually gets here because they want to talk to them. Okay, that's fine. You said two or three DuPont, right? Yes, please. What was your name again? This is Cody. Okay. It's yeah, they're on the phone. All right, and who do we know who this is? Do we? They they keep blocking their number and oh. stuff like that and keep oh. harassing us. So okay, they're, heard. I'm gonna send them over. They're on the phone right now. They're, oh. they're, they're on the phone right now saying call them because they want to talk to them. So. All right, the officer that responded before is on a call right now, but I'm gonna send someone else. Okay. Okay, that's fine. All right, they'll be there shortly. Thank you so much. You're welcome. He said it's police. Um, yes. This is 203 DuPont Avenue. Um, we have, which I know that you've gotten close from here, we're getting death threats and everything to go outside because they're going to kill us and stuff like that. So I don't know if you want to do it over the phone or if you want to send somebody here. I can send someone to you. It's up to you. I can send okay. someone over. I can send someone over if you're okay with that. It's up to you guys, whatever you, whatever you want what's to do. Uh, what's your name? I'm sorry? Your name? This is Cody. Oh, what's a good phone number for you, Cody? It's 516-477-7581. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to send one of my guys over as soon as I have someone available. We just got a couple of uh, calls going on right now, okay? Yeah, not a problem. Thank All you right. so much. No problem. Thanks. Have a great night. You too. Hey guys, um, can I have a police officer at 203 DuPont Avenue because we have this lady that keeps harassing us and she's saying all kinds of stuff online right now about us, which we have proof and we would like said, a police officer to see that. You said 203 DuPont? Yes. Alright, and what are they harassing you over the phone? No, they're harassing us online, and they're saying that she just called the police station, and that the police are watching us, and that they're watching our every move, and that she's best friends with you guys, and that um, if we say anything about suicide or anything like that, they're going to come and pick us up. Okay. All right. Well, that's definitely not years and years, and I'm over it. All right. Not a problem. What was your name? I'm sorry? What was your name? John Yates. John Gates. All right, John. We'll get his officer as soon as I can. All right. Thank you so much. Not a problem. And then that last one, of course, as we have heard Cody do before, he lied and said he was John. So I'm gonna go back now and play what everybody is waiting for. Um, me too, ambulance girl. Um. It's a good time now, though, that I will pull up the comments that I just wanted to say because I had thoughts, and they were centered around what you said, um, Ambulance Girl. Let me find my pen messages. Where Ambulance Girl was saying it's part of the dispatcher's job to remain completely neutral. Um, they're not trying to be removed. They just deal, or not trying to be rude. They just deal with a lot of calls. Um, after listening to a lot of these, what I hear now, and I hear it, I hear it completely differently than I ever have, because I always thought, you know, you know, they are sort of rude. You understand they're in a hurry, but it, it seems like they already have some of the details or they don't need the details. Or like a lot of times what we all do, including me, is that you've got something when you call 
the police. You have something in your mind that you really need to get out and you need to tell them. And it's like, gotta be the first things you say. And then they're trying to like cut us off and just trying to get out that basic information from us and ask us the important questions they want to ask. And probably somewhere in those questions, they're going to ask, you're going to be able to get that information out that's just like, like bursting at the seams to get out. And I'm guilty of it too, you know, when I call customer service or anything, like the first thing I do is be like, oh my God, you guys, blah, blah, blah. Well, I try to be nicer, but you know. Um, and sometimes like, okay, what information do you need? I just really need to, you know, so, um, I think that they, they come off sounding very, very rushed when, um, they don't mean to be rude that that's not any type of intention at all. The intention is just um, that they're really rushed, that they need to get these details in before they can even gather the details that you're saying. And if they just abruptly interrupt you in, in, a, in, in that kind of forceful manner, it does get you to shut up more and listen to them. And when I see you, I mean all of us, the you as an example. So anyway, that is my opinion on, and I think, does that cover the, oh, and then that one. Okay, so that covered that. And then this one, I wanted to say I disagree because we've already seen them. Um, they already seem to know a lot of times they all know about John. So they have the history and they know things like that. Um, they know uh, that they needed to send a blood kit out. And now in this one, it looks like they had another woman who was also um, there to do something. And they didn't say she, you know, was getting like, a, if they needed, you know, she was in charge of a mobile unit or she was a mobile unit. I don't know what type, what, what that means exactly. But so in my opinion, there was also another time that they were doing stuff that, um, we had absolutely no clue that what they were doing in the background. Um, and we are all quick to assume that none of them are doing anything. And I also found this, this in Jen's calls that they are doing more than, than what it seems to us in a lot of cases, not all, not all of them, you know, but you know, not all, all of the police officers, but I think in a lot of cases, they are. And yes, and this is only the past six months. They do not have access to anything before six months ago. Okay, so now let me go back to call number eight. <coughs> oh, goodness. Caller number eight. Oh, your time has come. Okay. Actually, really quickly, before I do that, let me do this. Just because I need to. Give me just a sec here. Where is the... All right, let's see. Let's remove that. Let's do this really quick. Happy 420 Central Coast, belated East Coast, and early Mountain and West. 
So please, please hit the likes. In fact, I'm not going to play this until I get 500 likes. I'm just kidding. I don't even... I don't even know how many I have. Hopefully I have at least 50. So uh, happy 420 and happy caller number eight. Let's go. I'm fine. She's at ice police. Yes, I'm calling about um, John Yates. He's live. And he's got knives in his hands, and he's talking about. Um, What's the address? What's the address? It's um, 203 DuPont Avenue. Oh, what's his name? It's John Gates. Spell the last name Y A T E S. He's going to be really mad at me. All right, how old is he? He is um, 43 or 44. Uh, and he states he wants to harm himself, and he has knives in his hand. Yeah. Like a while ago, we did it. Like he was slicing his. Did he? Did he? Like, did he cut himself at all? No, he hasn't cut himself, but he has in the past. He's had a, he's had a couple of of serious um attempts. But no, I mean he makes he talks. What no? Sorry, that was my grandson. He took the phone away from me. He's autistic. He thought I was talking about him. Okay. Saying, John's saying now that the reason he has the knives in his hands is for protection. So okay. I don't. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I have a. I have multiple units heading over there. Okay, he's going to be so mad at me because he's going to pull that. Um, okay, all right. All right. Well, thank We're, you. I'm sorry. What's, uh, hold on, hold on. I just got some more questions for you. What's your name? It's, um, it's Ellie Wood. Ellie Wood? Yeah. Right. And my grandson had taken the phone away from me and disconnected it. He what, thought I was talking about him. The 6014 phone number? Yeah. Okay. Are you at the residence or are you somewhere else? No, I'm. I'm actually. I'm in. I'm in Mississippi. Oh, uh, uh, okay. I, I'm just watching him on vlog. Okay. Erica, did you say he was live on YouTube? Yes, I'm on my watch All right. All right. We're getting officers out there, right? Okay. Listen, he's not. He's listen. Don't be careful with him. I mean, I don't just be careful with him. I don't want him to do anything crazy. I know. My my they, police my police officers are just getting there. Him. They're not they're not gonna hurt him. My police officers are just getting there. Okay. All right. Alrighty. Bye bye. See you tonight, police. I can help you. So there's a few things to unpack there. Yes, uh, that was Ellie John's moderator. And it is refreshing to hear that a moderator was very concerned. Unfortunately, he is not going to think so. He is going to see that as an ultimate betrayal. <laughs> she was already, remember when he got so mad at her? And she this was in that same time because she's already afraid in there saying he's mad at me. Yeah, she was really afraid, Debbie. Because he was already mad at her. He had already made a public spectacle of her or tried to. And so she's concerned and she's doing the right thing. But this is one of many, many people who called about the knives that night. So many people. And I think she was terrified for his life. Now... There's so something else I find in here, though, that's really interesting that uh, I'm going to delve into that's not, it's kind of dark. So um, trigger warning, as always, with everything all to do with John. Um, she speaks of how her grandson is, is it, her, her grandson thought he, she was talking about him. At first, I just like, you know, like, okay, interesting, but... You know, maybe 
Uh, you know, he was confused, like, I never did that or whatever. But then she says that her grandson got so mad that he tried to, you know, take the phone and disconnect it. Ah, that tells me a few things. First of all, I'm deeply, deeply sorry that Ellie is, um, if Ellie is, if, if Ellie is in fact experiencing something like that with her own grandchild in that, in that type of an S thoughts and attempts on itself situation that that's horrible, horrible. And probably would even more make you worry about John and also make your anxiety go up even more so much because it might be an experience that you're already having in your own home. Which leads me to my third point. You know, there's a, 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 a woman that we all love, a woman who was betrayed a year ago by uh, John. When, when many women were betrayed by John when they let Amber up backstage. And this, this woman shared some very personal information about her child. And John eventually took that information, and Julie did too, that information about Vault and Vault's child. And they made a complete mockery, both of them, over Vault and Vault's child, who thankfully thankfully is is doing better from what I understand and is no longer um, hopefully having any types of of those thoughts you know those ideations in wanting to do any any self-harm or anything and, and the fact that that both John and uh, Julie have stomped all over vault for something so personal and it's horrifying that anybody, that any parent ever has to go through that with their child, especially, or, or any child with their mother. It's just horrifying. And to think that anybody who's ever been through that or or anything can just stomp on other people. I, I don't get it. So... Kelly, you did the right thing. I'm horribly sorry if you're going through things like that with your uh, grandchild. And shame on all of you for making fun of anybody else um, that deals with that. And I'm sure that the evidence of you making fun of Vault's child will also look great in court when you want to talk about mockeries uh, of one's um, self-harm, John. So... All right, so there you have it. I can play number eight again. I can play any of them again that you want. Um, I think we've got just a, yeah, we've got a little while till Anna Maria go live. And Vault, I'm sorry I brought it up. I just, that was just the first thing I thought of when I, when I heard this, that other people, more other people are going through similar tragic situations. <laughs> and instead of just trying to <laughs> lead with kindness, nope. No, he doesn't. So I'm going to play that one again. Huh, let's see. No problem. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Bye. Um, bye. She said I'd close. Yes, I'm calling about um, 
John Yates, he's live, and he's got knives in his hands, and he's talking about... Um, What's the address? Uh, What's the address? It's um, 203 DuPont Avenue. Oh, what's his name? It's John Yates. Spell the last name. Y-A-T-E-S. He's going to be really mad at me. All right. How old is he? He is um, 43 or 44. Uh, and he states he wants to harm himself and he has knives in his hand? Yeah. Like, a while ago we did it like he was five finished. Did he, did, he, did, he, like... did he cut himself at all? No, he hasn't cut himself, but he has in the past. He's had a, he's had a couple of, of serious um, attempts. But no, I mean, he makes us be talking. What? No. Sorry, that was my grandson. He took the phone away from him. He's autistic. He thought I was talking about him. Okay. John's saying now that the reason he has the knives in his hands is for protection. So okay. I don't. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm right. sorry. I, I have a. I have multiple units heading over there. Okay, he's gonna be so mad at me because he's gonna pull this. Um. Okay. All right. All right. Well, thank We're, you. I'm sorry. What's, uh, I'm hold on. Hold on. I just got some more questions for you. What's your name? It's um it's Ellie Wood. Ellie Wood. Yeah. All right. And my grandson had taken the phone away from me and disconnected it. He what, thought I was talking about him. The six zero one four phone number. Yeah. Okay. Are you at the residence or are you somewhere else? No, I'm I'm actually I'm in I'm in Mississippi. Oh, um, uh, okay. I I'm just watching him on live. Okay. Erica, did you say he was live on YouTube? Yes, I'm on my watch All right. All right, we're getting officers out there, right? Okay, listen, he's got, he's, listen, don't be careful yeah, with him. Got got, I mean, I don't, just be careful with him. I don't want him to do anything crazy. I know. My, my please, police, my police, got, police officers are just getting hurting. there. They're not, they're not going to hurt him. My police officers are just getting there. Okay, all right. All righty. Bye-bye. Yeah, she is truly concerned, truly scared. It's a lot. Hey, Nancy. I think there was one Glenn Crack wanted me to play earlier over again, but I don't remember what number that was. That was three or four. Right? And what I'd like to know is he also said that the police came um, one night when him and Brooklyn were live. There's no calls regarding that. There are not a single call regarding that. So I'd like proof from John or, or I, what did Brooklyn see? What did she hear? Did she see the cops at his door? Was this actually, there was nothing on the live itself. How does Brooklyn, did John just say they were here and mute everybody? Where is this proof um, that the cops came while, uh, John was doing a complete content live, and Brooklyn backs him up that that happened. Uh, what's this proof, Brooklyn? How do you know 100%? Because not a single one of these, these calls uh, are anything to do with that. We can pretty much pinpoint which nights uh, these calls were from. Exactly, Maria. He lies about a lot of times that the call... He says cops come and they don't.
he lies so much and this was what what he did huge when i was a hag he did this too he lied and had you believing that the cops had come to his house 50 times but no the cops pretty much came when people knew the cops had come there's generally not a time he's kept it secret really other than like now this blood work he kept secret i wonder why and I guess the results of that are private. I don't know. I've got a whole bunch of paperwork i got to look through, too. So there might be something in that paperwork that talks about results. I doubt it, but there might be. i got, like, 27 pages or 50 pages. I don't even know. i got a bunch of pages I didn't even have time to really look at um, that I am going to definitely... Uh, I want to look through, it's like, it looks like a PDF of phone calls and I want to look through it and make sure, um, I get identifying stuff out of it. If there are phone numbers and all that, I don't think there were, but I'm not sure. I just really, I didn't get a chance to examine it closely. So I don't know if Brooklyn knows he's a liar or if he said enough to Brooklyn and she just assumes he's not a liar. Did he just tell you, Brooklyn, or do you have actual facts? Did you physically hear the voices of police speaking? Did you see them? Like, I, I, I need to know what facts you got that other than John telling you. That they were there. And be like, oh my God, the police are here just a sec. And then, you know, you don't hear anything. Because uh, those are the times that he's lying. He's trying to fake victim victimness, victimhood. Uh so yeah, I'm curious about that. And there's, yeah, he does that so much. So I don't know. Yep, he was manipulating them so he would give them money to move. And now that's why he's saying, like, yesterday he said, so all of that, you know, all of that where I could have moved, I could have gone to Europe, I could have done this, I could have done that. But now I'm spending five figures on lawsuits. Um, John, how's it going to look to a, a judge that you're scared of a woman that you hopped on a panel with last night? <laughs> that's gonna fuck you more than any of your mods could other than julie <laughs> oh lord i hope it does because that seems like um whether you're um air you know whether you're allowed in quotes uh to do that or not you definitely have no fear of a woman. You just uh, go into a chat room, into a, a person's uh, live stream, and then hop on a panel that Maria's on. That was some. That was some priceless, some priceless decision making right there. Well, I don't know, maybe ten thousand plus worth of decision making for you. I don't know, or maybe not even. Who gave you all that money, John? Boy, I bet they must be proud of you. Whoever gave you all that money and you just hopped on a panel with somebody you're so scared of, you have to get a restraining order on them because they say mean things about you. Hmm. It's funny, though, that you talk about uh, how Maria is just online morning, noon, and night, and she's like from 7 a.m. to what did you say in your drunken stupor? She's from... She's live, she's on people's streams from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. I think you meant 2 a.m. How would you know that she's in all these streams unless you're in all these streams? And it just sounds like you're basically following her around to see where she goes. 
that's also going to look beautiful in front of a, a judge or the judge about how you how you follow me Maria around and and know wherever she is at all times of the uh, day and night. It's like, boy, just just keep choosing those um, words and choosing to to hit those uh, choosing to click those links and making all of these decisions. Yeah, zero to file the TPO ten plus grand to hire the lawyer in Miami to do it or in Hollywood, Florida, Fort Lauderdale, somewhere in that general area. Yes. Uh, apparently, uh, Angela Jade, why did you take the stream down? Do not force me to listen to Jules. I can't do it. <sighs> Besides her, uh, her volume sucks. She plays your stream, Angela Jade, and, and the volume sounds perfect. And then she talks, and she talks really quiet, which is sort of good if I want to go listen to this stream. But, yeah, anyway. Uh, please, Angela Jade, put that stream back up. <laughs> so uh, this stream uh, was uh, really action-packed. And uh, Maria was on panel... And I think was Anne on panel at the same time too. And John was in chat trying to make Stacy Avocado answer for his Harry Potter book. <laughs> for his made up stolen money. <laughs> so he hopped on panel while Maria was on panel. So he could question Stacy. Right, Lauren Marie? He followed Maria there, then hopped on a panel under the guise of asking somebody in the chat a question who was ignoring his chat when he was asking, asking her the question. <laughs> so that happened. Yeah, his second stream, I got all that stuff recorded. I was uh, I was on the road all day. I was on the road for like seven hours. Um, ran to Michigan. Picked up my favorite thing in Michigan. And then I uh, drove home. So all of the times, um, well, two of the first two lives, I was driving. And then I came home and I just didn't want to hear any noise at all. So I didn't have anything, no social media or nothing on. And then I turned it on like, maybe I've been home for over an hour. And he was on a panel and Maria was on a panel. And I'm like, what the holy fuck balls? Let me rewind and record. So I didn't record the whole stream, just the part, just that part. Could not believe it. I'm not quite sure, uh, Stacy. So she didn't entertain any of his questions. That's great. And so John got so frustrated, Stacy wouldn't entertain his questions that that trumped being so scared of Maria. Maria's so scared. She's so scary. Hey, Misha. Maria's less scary than trying to get Stacy uh, riled up. <laughs> so that's how that stuff went. Um, E11 had an amazing stream yesterday saying all of the things that I wanted to say. But in a much better E11 kind of way, because that's who E11 is. She sounds like the real adult. <laughs> I just kind of pretend. <laughs> hey, Kay. No, she didn't steal any money. They never had that money, and she never stole any money. She didn't even pick up a fucking penny off their dirty floor.
11, but you were very adult. I wanted to comment, but I was driving on I-75 and I didn't want to text and drive. So just like, oh my gosh. And then you kept saying my name. I'm like, oh, I want to type. I want to type. <laughs> Hey, Napa. E11 does keep it classy, even in anger. Hey, Sarah Effing Z. Yeah, and as soon as I ended, I got to private it for a few. Well, probably for about a day. There were two uh, doxes in here. One of them I don't care about, but the other one I care deeply about. So I need to get one of those fixed. If I'm feeling froggy, maybe I'll fix the other one, but I doubt it. And then, um, yeah. And by that time, I'm sure all of the other stuff, like as it turns out, I had to private the stream anyway. So I can get that fixed. I'm trying really quickly to add a cucumber onto this grocery order till my time expires because I don't want to forget a cucumber. Just a sec. Okay, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it anyway. Hey, Fancy Feast. Oh, nice, Eleven. Thanks, Kirsten. It's so good to see you. I know it is the butt crack of dawn for you, so uh, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, everybody, so much for being here. Um... I want to thank Ambulance Girl and the 11 for the cash apps. And then I would also uh, love to thank very much um, Lack, Alexis, and Savage, and Jendi uh, for the super chats. And then uh, Kells and Kirsten, thank you so much for the gifted memberships. Oh, good idea, Kay. Everybody have a wonderful night. Um, Anna and Maria go live at 6.30, I think. Maybe sooner, hopefully. Hopefully we'll go live sooner so we don't have to wait too long. And let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice, Eleven. Thank you very, very much to my moderators and to all of you subscribers. And thank you for the super chats and the cash apps. And please, again, hit that like button if you haven't. Hit the dislike button if you're uh, Julie, if you're 148, or hey, guess what, Muzz? I see you. I see you out there playing games today. So, Muzz, you hit that dislike button, too, because uh, I know you haven't gone anywhere. I know what the fuck you're doing. I knew what the fuck you were doing this morning. Everybody have a wonderful night. Thank you.